Okay, my alarm woke me up, I fell back asleep. My mom woke me up, I fell back asleep. And I had to get up and get dressed in like 10 minutes to run out the door because we're gonna go do stuff today and I really don't wanna be here all day. So, fun, exciting, quick paced slash procrastination morning, yeah. use my iPod for music now. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm streaming a radio station. I got a letter from my grandma. It's been a while. I'm eating mango candy again. So I'm just waiting in the van while mom and dad go into the post office. And it's sort of rain snowing now. That's fun. Okay, I don't know if the setting actually projected itself into the last video clip because I just realized that my camera was set on tungsten but I'm outside so everything looks blue so if that last clip looked really blue I'm sorry I forgot I changed it I changed it to cloudy I keep forgetting that I that this camera automatically sets it back to or auto keeps it at whatever it was the last time so I'm still learning because my old one was like what like four or five years old that I've had that thing we're looking at a house and back in this room here, this is a repo house, so there's stuff. Dad hit something. Him. So we were looking in the house and stuff. We like it. It's a nice house. We came outside. It was warmer outside than it was in the house. And it's snowing now. Snowing. So now we're in the van warming up while mom and dad are looking at something. I don't know. And we're warming up. It's the fun part. I got a cream cheese stuffed jalapeno. See? Nice and big. But it took, it was really annoying trying to get the thing. I asked the lady, I told her I wanted one. She goes, I'm sorry, I can't sell just one. Right. And I was like, well, I'm not going to buy a bunch if I don't know that I like it. You know, I'm going to try it first. Here's your thing, Mom. And so she goes, oh, you need to try one. Okay, you can have one for free. So it was a little pointless. So I'm going to try that out. Evie's got popcorn chicken. So I'm going to try my jalapeno. And I waited until I got something to drink, so I got myself a pop because I'm not going to bite into a jalapeno if I don't have something to drink right away. It's always awkward to wait for that minute for when you guys turn on. It just took me seriously five minutes to find the bathroom in this place. So they have it up in the front corner instead of where it normally should be. So I have to go find my dad because I'm getting string. So that'll be fun. And then some lady answered her phone while she was on the toilet. I was really dumb. Okay, does anybody else agree that that is a really awkward name, especially for animal food? Look, it's a buffet blend. Pellets and mealworms and, gr and grasshoppers. Oh my! Dad, Dad's on the other side of the shelving units here going to us. We're just looking at different animal foods. That's still an awkward name. This one's like mealworms and grasshoppers and crickets or something. See, I used to... I grew... What if I told you about that? I raised mealworms in sixth grade. This is mealworms, by the way. Those things. I raised them in sixth grade. So, you know, I can touch those. But... Like, live or dead, I can touch them. I don't know about grasshoppers, though, it'd be low. I'll have to try. I'll have to suck it up. I'll have to suck it up. Thanks for focusing on the cat. He's upside down. It's hard to see with the glare, you can't really. Nope, can't see the glare. There we go. That's a little way. This cat's name is Toby, and he's upside down. <laughs> It's 
ostrich. He's a big one down here. Hi, kitty. Aww. Rouge. Rouge. Hi, kitty. You look pink on my screen right there. You look pink. This one down here is Buddy. This one's trying to figure me out. <laughs> Aww. Aww, he's so cute. Look at that, those are friggin' huge fish flakes, oh my god. This is tropical fish, but jeez, it's bigger than the fish that you're feeding it to. I'm kind of hungry, but because it's like almost 6.30 and mom's gonna be starting dinner soon, I can't really, you know, make a lot of food. So, but I needed something because I hadn't really eaten today. I only had that little jalapeno thing and then stole a few of my sister's popcorn chicken. But So I made myself a potato. Um, it's really easy to make. You just chop up the potato and put it in a bowl with a lot of butter, salt and pepper, you know, to taste, and microwave it. Usually I cut them in smaller chunks. These are pretty big. Usually I cut them big and smaller. And usually I make like two or three. It's for like normal food, so I'm just eating a little one right now. But I make it and then I add milk. And I use a hand masher. I don't like using the, mi the electric one. I use a hand masher and I mash it. And then I mix in, you know, a little more butter or, or milk, you know, to make it taste good. And then I'll put in like shredded cheese or sour cream. It's really good. It's, you know, it's not that healthy, but, you know, obviously it's not doing anything to me because I'm not getting fat from it. <laughs> I eat mashed potatoes and I sit at the computer all day. I don't know. Everyone always asks me, how do you stay so thin? I'm like, well, for one, I'm not that thin. You know, I don't wear a size zero like some girls. Um, honestly, I don't do anything because I don't work out. I can't because I have workout asthma. I used to go to Zumba, but... I wasn't, you know, that didn't thin me up that much. It just defined my abs more. Which, yeah, I do have them. You can't see them, but I have them. Um, I eat food and I sit in the computer all day. That's how I stay thin, you know? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? There's, there's no trick to it. It's just how I am. Sorry. She stole the money. She's sitting on it. Throwing money around. Silly bunny. Silly bunny. <laughs> Hi, Kara. <gasps> Hi, Kara. <laughs> Hi, dear bunny. You came to see me, huh? Quick, it's one, 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 one at night. Make your wish. Did you make your wish? I made mine. Did you make yours? Do you wish on 11, 11 at night? I want to know if anyone else does. I know I do, and I have since forever. But I don't wish just any old thing. I always wish for one specific thing. And as of recently, I keep asking, wishing for the same thing every time I catch one, 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 one. I do. What about you? Do you? It is time for today's daily verse in Bible.com. Hard to turn my arm that way. Far be it from God that he should do wickedness, and from the Almighty that he should commit iniquity. For the work of, man, of a man shall he render unto him, and cause every man to find according to his ways. Job 34, verses 10 and 11. And while I'm thinking about it, I might as well do the daily message here on Facebook, right there. It says, On this day of your life, we believe, God wants you to know, that change is the very nature of life. Welcome it. No glass ever became sand again. No bread ever became wheat. No ripened fruit ever became a flower. Welcome to change, and choose what kind of glass you create, what kind of bread you bake, and what kind of fruit you harvest. 
guess next year instead of decorating a tree, I could always just decorate myself. I could be a Christmas tree, walking Christmas tree. Oh yeah. Okay, it's late. It's 12:30. I'm really tired. Um, Dustin, you never got back online like you said, you brat. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna go to bed soon. So, I hope you all have a wonderful night slash morning slash whatever it is wherever you are, and I will see you in the morning. Good night.